My scariest book about Oregon history is Oregon's Greatest Natural Disasters, which covers the floods, fires, earthquakes, volcanoes that have impacted people over the last 14,000 years, including the giant tsunami and earthquake that they're predicting for the coast. And this gives a fictional headline that shows you what it might look like the day after this earthquake and tsunami strike, but it's based on the actual science. And the book does explain a lot of the, about the science. It starts with the Ice Age floods that filled the Willamette Valley with 400 feet of water and killed everybody here for thousands of years, 12,000 years ago. And then I explain what's causing these earthquakes and tsunamis. The problem is that Oregon is moving west across the Pacific Plate at the rate of one inch a year, but the contact is sticky, so we build up pressure, and every three to 500 years, Oregon jerks 30 feet west. Typically, this drops the coast 10 feet, and that's why there are stumps on the beach at low tide. Uh, which volcano is likely to erupt next? next? Probably South Sister. Uh, landslides, floods, the eruption of Mount St. Helens, the Vanport flood. People die on every page, but you'll learn a lot about Oregon history and Oregon's greatest natural disasters.